I wanted to compare it, this to Rare Vision VHS, not like a thorough comparison. I just wanted to get a few shots. This is the Sony DCR PC9. Why are people making noises? Do you know I'm, I'm doing a video? This is the BTS. This is the editing room. Man. Okay. Hello, it's me. I'm Stephen Allen. How are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. I just realized that I forgot to uh, pose for a thumbnail in my last video. So, oh well, that will be fun while editing. I'm not planning on being a daily uploader person. That seems so stressful. It seems stressful to upload two times a week, one time a week, like just any type of schedule to have. I don't like feeling trapped. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about my new camera that I wanted to be my go-to all-around vlog camera. I have used it for a little bit of vlogging. I've gone a couple of places. This used to be my vlogging camera and I do like it. You can see that this one is a little bit smaller this way, like height-wise. It's a little thicker. I like that this doesn't have a fold-out screen. You turn it on by just doing that. It is a bit fragile. People on YouTube talked about this camera saying it's terrible. I like it. It just, it is a bit fragile. The batteries also aren't like a standard thing. It uses some like stick batteries. I have a whole video about this. If you want to see more about this camera, this is the JVC GRDV1E. And they both use mini DV tapes that look like this. So technically they're both digital cameras. This one doesn't have like a digital out, I don't think. This one does. And uh, I do use the FireWire connection with my Mac because uh, it's quicker than trying to use a capture card like this. This is a clear click. This is Ion. I did a video about this. I haven't done a video about this, but they work the same way. Elgato, clear click, that stuff. I have a bunch of stickers here. This is Rare Vision VHS, and you can see my stickers. Stickers! My sticker table. I haven't really talked that much about my sticker table. I posted a bunch of YouTube shorts, and these stickers were featured in those videos because I was doing macro photography. These batteries last a minute. So they're okay. The issue with this is that it's a tape-based camera, so you have to like do everything real time and capturing it on your computer. So I'm not gonna shoot that much. I guess I will use the actual audio from this so you can hear the difference. The difference. Wow, wow. Stickers. Hello, it's me. How are you doing? I was about to uh, complete, cause I'm so used to vlogging with this and saying, hello, it's me, Stephen Allen, cause I'm vlogging and it's like the first clip. I've already done that with you, so I don't need to do it here. But hello, hello. There is a night shot mode. That's something you can't do with Rear Vision VHS unless they make a little update. And there are other features on this camera, but I don't want to get into all of that right now. Oh, it's, uh, what is it called? Inception taping, video, recording, whatever. So there we go. There we go. So anyway, I do have other videos on this channel about camcorders. I was talking about like film photography for a minute, but you can see that film has gotten so expensive. I used to buy Ultramax 400. A roll was like less than $5. You could buy a five pack on Amazon for maybe $14, $13. Now it's like $42. So forget that. I'm glad this channel switched over to a uh, camcorders. So I just basically wanted to chat a little bit about that. I didn't have a lot that I wanted to say. Sony cameras are really great. I do like using this. I have vlogged with it a little bit. Let me know if you want to see what you want to see out of this channel because I do want to post two times a week. I want to post things that you're interested in seeing. So if you want to see more videos on apps that are with the iPhone, let me know. If you want to see apps, because some of you have written that you want to see more videos about apps that are on Android phones, you need to watch and subscribe a bit more so I can, you know, get some revenue because I'm only going to reinvest in this channel. I don't really think it makes sense to spend a thousand dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever it is, buying stuff for this channel until it can pay for itself. Unless you want to send a phone to my PO box that is Android based and I will check that out or if someone wants to sponsor me, whatever. Hi, good morning. I have a few things that I wish to speak at you today. I like speaking with improper grammar. It makes me sound hip. Um, orange juice. 
skim milk frozen pizza that is the wrong list i am also trying to do a little scratch today trying to hit that eight minutes i recorded this video along with the last video anyway um it's so much easier to use rare vision vhs over a camcorder especially that one because you have to do everything real time like you can't have everything in separate clips so when you're going to edit you just see this really long clip and you have to sit through however long it took to record it to capture it i like being able to see clips because i can say like okay i have 10 clips i can kind of judge the time i know each clip is probably a different topic or a different location or something like that with one long clip you're like well we'll see anyway the battery sticks out there's a bigger battery you can put on but that looks kind of ridiculous uh, you can use it with the screen closed so anyway, that's about it. I don't want this video to go on too long. I'm also afraid that whenever I use a camcorder, it will eat the tape. I guess you could be concerned about corrupted footage on an SD card, but I feel like it's more likely for a tape to melt in the camera if it's really hot outside or it just breaks if it's too cold or it stretches or all of that kind of stuff. But let me talk quickly about that analog or the digital capture of that camera. So the Sony DCR PC9 that camera, it has a .mov file that is created that's too old to be recognized by Premiere Pro. And I got a comment from someone saying that they tried to use that camera and uh, send the footage over to their phone and it wouldn't play the video, only the audio. And I think it's the same issue. So I had to use Handbrake, which is this free tool, and convert it to mp4 so it's just a lot of extra steps but i guess that's you know kind of fun if you have the time i don't know i'll talk to you later planning on posting another video on monday and i want to post videos mondays and thursdays that is the goal until the rest of the year i'm not really sure what direction to go into with this channel but i thank all of you for subscribing and watching please do subscribe to this uh channel because i'm you know, trying to figure things out with it and let me know what you want to see. I will respond to comments. Um, I haven't responded to comments in a while, so I'm going to do that again. I had a video idea for responding to comments, but I think I'm just going to do the comment response and not do that video idea that I had. I got a whole computer. What? Computer. Never mind. Computer. Never mind. Not talking to you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Great, you saw me picking my nose. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see.